Brian, can you tell me a little bit about the history of Reds, how long you've been here? And We've been here since 1936. Uh, my great-grandfather, Lowell Red Kinney, uh, actually um, moved the family here from Dodge City, Kansas. And he initially went to work and build the uh, Sun Valley Lodge. And when he was finished building the Sun Valley Lodge, he bought up all the tools from um, all of his co-workers came down here, um, started up a pawn gun shop, and, um, and that's, that's how it started. That's kind of the roots of it. And so then how many generations of your family have been involved here? Uh, four generations now. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Most prominently, it was my, my grandfather, um, Wayne. Um, he's he's the one most people remember. He uh, was quite quite the quite the outspoken one, and and um, he he actually used to um, the traveling wrestling shows that they had that would come into town. He used to um, he he would he was the he was the town favorite as far as um, in in these in these wrestling matches. And so a lot of people still come in and say, I remember watching your grandfather wrestle, and and uh, which which. Is, which is really strange. Uh, I used to come in here and um, he used to come behind these counters, come talk to him, and uh, he's usually on a. Is this hard for you? Yeah, a bit. Because you're worried about losing the store now? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. No, no, that's fine. No, I used to, I used to run behind the counter and come uh, visit him. He used to have a. When you were a little kid. Yeah, yeah. He used to have a. Um, all these guys caught coming in talking to him about guns and politics, basically the same as today. <laughs> and um, it's it's funny because I still I do that to my kids when they come down here and. They, um, they know a lot of times dad's got some customers backed up and everybody wanting to talk um, city politics, um, city politics, national politics, guns, whatever. And, and, and so, you know, a lot of times I'll give him a quick hug, ruffle, ruffle of the hair or whatever, and, you know, I'll talk to you later. And um, so, you know, that's, that's, that's what I remember and always hitting him up for a, you know, a 